Good evening, I'm Joe Netherworld, and we're doing our daily tarot card reading for Saturday, November 2nd, 2013. As we're uh, moving right into, no into November, we have a few things uh, that are going to be happening this month. November is um, really the Northeast, it's sort of like the transitional month that kind of ends any last hope of the, uh, of the fall and gets us into winter mode. And sometimes we lose track of that because of all the holidays, but really I want everyone to take in mind to slow down in November and really um, feel the transition and get yourself ready for a, a long winter ahead. So um, we're going to pull three cards, as I always do, and that's uh, a main card and two signifier cards that values that and gives us our read for the day. And they'll appear on the screen in front of my collection of books and pheasants and skulls are here, <laughs> and uh, you can see the cards once they're pulled. So here we go. And our first card up is the Queen of Cups. Another great card, very fulfilling. I like seeing cups at the beginning of a month. It gives us a great um, energy to work with. There's not, you know, uh, distractions. It's really about, it's an autumn card as well. So it's uh, really, it's a little, um, a little emotional, uh, this card. It, it's, it's, a, it's the mother card in some senses. It's uh, about uh, strong maternal and female feelings for things and trying to uh, mother situations. So that's a good energy depending on the rest of this. Pulse. So we're going to see what the other one pulls. Uh, Seven of Swords, which is the taking away troubles after battles. It's picking up the swords uh, and walking away with them, getting rid of them. In other words, clearing the battlefield. It's um, and probably what the, the Queen of Cups is there to help support you. It's a strong maternal uh, energy. This is probably the first day you're actually cleaning up and getting into the world after Halloween. So that makes sense on that level. And it also makes sense uh, where November, like I was saying earlier, about getting ready to look at this month as a transitional month and clearing away things that, are, that don't belong and that battles you've already fought, you got to get rid of them. You can't keep on lingering over, not spilt milk, it's the wrong term, you can't linger over loss or, um, or, or the struggles. You know? And there are, you know, though there's five struggles being carried away here, two of them remain. Uh, which always is that you're never going to be completely done with your fighting. Which is just, that's, that's life, kids. But, ah, that's nice though. Sunshine, sun, in this instance, sun, sometimes sun can be a harsh card. It burns away a lot of things. But here, it's a warm, you know, lights the, um, lights the way. Kind of, it's the, it's the clear light of day. It's, it's clearness of thought and, uh, you know, uh, focus of vision. You need some, you need light to see what you're doing. So that's kind of coming in here. And that's, if you notice, as you'll see on the, on the screen, the colors of the Queen of Cups and the Sun are almost very similar. And that's because they're both um, autumn, late autumn power cards, and that they kind of reside in this time of the year. So this is very timeless, this is very much of today. So the way we'd walk away with today's reading of this, carry away your problems, understand you're not going to get rid of all your troubles today, but that you can carry them away and throw them away, and you're under control here. No one's doing it for you. You're clearing away your own problems. So if you've had these battles, you've had some fights, and you've won or lost, whatever, the fight is over. Clear the table, clear the world. You have a lot of great forces around you helping you today, and they're going to follow you through the rest of this month. So good read, good day, and uh, I'll be here again tomorrow, a little after midnight. As usual, I say it all the time, but I mean it. And uh, we'll have our next reading, and we'll see you then.